Hey everybody, we are here hey. and we have reviews for you. Review. It's review, TV show, talking time. I was going to say it's yeah. movie talking time, but that's not what we're doing today. No, nope, not at all. In the movie universe, but we're talking mm -hmm. about a TV show that has had two episodes come out by now. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be reviewing that and then hopefully continue on reviewing said show uh, because there's a lot going on. And of course, because you guys are dumb, you've read the title. We're talking mm -hmm. about Loki, and we're going to be reviewing the first two episodes. Um, Gary was on vacation last week. Didn't want to review stuff without him because we are the uh, dynamic duo. You are so and, kind to wait on me while I was laying on the beach chasing my kids around Polly's Island, South Carolina. But oh, uh, <laughs> glad to be here talking about this show. I finally got to watch it this morning. Uh, mm. The door opened up at seven it was my daughter coming out to try to take the tv and i said no 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 i got the tv right now and Good. she sat next to me and watched it and had all kinds of questions as you can imagine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and some of them i was like i was like i don't know but yeah so i'm all caught up and ready to review the first two episodes of loki yeah so i was able to watch the second one last night um uh, I don't know why this is being weird. I was able to do do the second one last night and then be able to check that out. So that was all great and dandy. And um, so as we dig into this, I'm sorry, again, my computer is being stupid. Oh, so it happens. I don't, know, I don't know why it's doing this to me. Uh oh, and it wants me to uh, quit, which is weird. Anyways, oh. so moving right along. Let's see if this works. We don't. We don't quit, computer. I know. We'll see if this works. All right, here we well, go. For what it's worth. There we go. Uh, Oh, there you go. There's, there's Tom. Hit a little stin on the screen. Yeah. So. so there's the man. And this poster, now after seeing the first two episodes, I just want to quickly talk about this poster. Uh, it actually tells you a lot, the poster itself. Mm -hmm. After you see the first two episodes, oh, okay, the time thing, you know, the, how he's dressed, and then um, the reason why the Loki is all different, like the different lettering, different fonts mm -hmm. and stuff, the collar that he's wearing. It's like, oh, wow, you told a lot in this teaser poster that, I had no idea until you watched it. Yeah. So I like the clock in the background. Yeah. Fancy looking, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, explain to me. So I see the different fonts, if you will, of the letters. Explain those to me, if you don't mind. Yeah. How, how they so, how they work. I will say this first. If you have not watched Loki and you don't want to get spoiled, just you just got to turn away from this. Go watch yeah. Loki and then come back because there's turn no away. way we can review this without spoiling what happened in the first two episodes. But I just want to say, please come back. Yes, please come back and uh, and then check out the review with us. So if you have not yet, this is your last and final spoiler warning for Loki's episode one and two. All right, so moving right along. So the different the reason why you have different fonts is because they represent the different dimensions or the different timelines, uh, I guess, okay. one dimensions, timelines. They So the different version of Loki has a different like font in their different okay. timeline. So that's why it does that. That's why, like, the opening sequence, it shows a Loki and it shows it, like, mm -hmm. flashing all the different things. It's because it's, like, these are all different versions of Loki. Mm -hmm. Oh, clever. I see you. I see you, Marvel, Disney, yep. whatever you are. It's good. Yep. So this is where we're at. So first of all, episode one kicks off. And, uh, Gary, what would you think, sir, of that first episode? Uh, I love how it threw, it threw us right back into where we were with uh, Endgame. Mm -hmm. uh, Loki gets the uh, Tesseract and disappears and we find out where he goes and uh as soon as that happens in endgame we know okay this is going to be the tv show they're talking about here with loki and um love how it just brings us right back to uh you know that scene you know with uh hulk angry about stairs yeah. <laughs> no more stairs and uh Loki gets a tesseract and then we're introduced to the what do they call the minutemen the eight yeah, the, you know yeah the, you well know. yeah the Minutemen there, the TVA is what the organization mm -hmm. is, the Time Variance uh, Authority. Yeah. What I liked about this first episode is it didn't, no pun intended, it did not waste time. Maybe pun yeah. is intended there, I don't know. But it just went right into it. It, it reintroduced Loki and what he was mm -hmm. doing, what he was up to, and brought into what he was about to, you know, this new world, this new journey. It, and it did it pretty quickly and pretty well. So mm -hmm. I, I was... The pacing was really good for this first episode, is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah, I thought, was, I thought uh, the setup was pretty good. I like that what they showed is that since he took the Tesseract and jumped out of that situation, he messed up the timeline. And mm -hmm. so that's why you have these Minutemen these, from the TVA 
show up and grab him because this version of Loki um, jumped out of time. Because, of course, if you follow the MCU timeline, like when the movies came out, he gets taken back to Asgard, he's in prison, mm-hmm. then Thor 2 happens, all that. But with him leaving, now he's gone, now none of that happens. So mm-hmm. since none of that happens, then that is a problem. So they have to come after him. And then the TVA, uh, you know, they have to take him. They have to they have to arrest him. And they're like, listen, man, you can't be just jumping out of time like this. And, of course, he's all kinds of confused because he just oh, yeah. took the Space Stone, which is the Tesseract, and just got out mm-hmm. of there. And he had no and idea what was going on. And he's Loki. He's, I'm a god. You can't do this to me. Or, you know, he's his confusion I found hilarious because he was still yeah. holding on to – Loki, you can't do this to me. Even though, if you remember, he was just slammed by Hulk. <laughs> yeah, you know, for the same reasons. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, so they they had to. You can't do that. You can't mess up the timeline. Yep. So they were there. They were there, very upset. And you see, he's another shot from the movie where he's taken away there, and um, and he is just not happy. Now, the couple things that I did like out of this, Gary, is that, like you said, didn't waste any time. Um, I really like the banter between him and uh, Owen Wilson. Yeah. Them going back and forth, trying to outwit each other, trying to be the smartest guy in the room. Um, I thought that was really cool. I thought the little clock lady where she explained everything real fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, cool. okay, I'm caught up. I like that. I like how you did that too with yeah. the cool animation and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It reminded me of uh, two things. It reminded me of Jurassic Park with the uh, dino DNA guy. Mm-hmm. And it reminded me of, remember uh, when we were kids, the little paper clip that would come up on the, when they were writing papers that would tell you what, uh, how, to yeah. help, how, to, how to write papers. It reminded me of that. Yeah. You know, it took me back to a, a time. But uh, yeah, the chemistry with him and Owen Wilson was great. I'm looking forward to more of that, you know. Mm-hmm. Always been a big fan of Owen Wilson. He he's he's the same in every movie, but he's great, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, wow, you can't do that. You can't you can't mess up time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but and also I thought the uh, you know the whole get a ticket thing. You know, I knew that was something yeah. was gonna. They were like, get a ticket, get it, and then he said, I got my ticket. You know, yeah. Um, to introducing which, which, us that to this felt world. very Beetlejuice. That yeah, yeah. Deal. I thought the same thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that ordeal, and then he's going through because he has to be judged, right? And he had this whole fun sequence and all that. Um, so a lot of this stuff, I mean, just I, I thought and I like the like the way it feels. It kind of feels like Stranger Things slash Men mm-hmm. in Black. You mm-hmm. know, it kind of has like this mixture of things there, and I like kind of just how I don't know if it's called a filter, but just the way it looks. Like it looks a little mm-hmm. bit more gritty. It doesn't look so bright colors and fun yep. all the time. But I, I just I just like what they're really doing with it and how they're trying to. Um, you know, how they're trying to be able to make it feel different than the other things that they have done. Um, mm-hmm. So I really like that. And also, I also like uh, how it's it's self-aware in the sense that like the line where they're like, you mess up the time stream, da, da, da. And he was like, well, what about the Avengers? Yeah. They went through time. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and the Which fact I that was, he, uh-huh. go ahead. I'm so sorry. I was like, I just thought it was funny that he picked that up based on what happened, you know, because of Endgame. Like, really mm-hmm. shot, like he picked up, oh, they're messing with time. So I thought that was pretty good. Showed how smart he is. Yeah, and I was very thankful for that line because I was thinking the same thing. Kind of like I was thinking, or well, are they going to get the Avengers for what they did? And they're like, no, that's they were doing what they were supposed to do. You mm-hmm. know, they were they were fixing. They they were basically their own minute men, I guess. You know, yeah. they're fixing their own thing. And uh, you just you messed up everything. But yeah, going back to how it looked, um, one thing I noticed is. It was very time neutral, if if that if that makes sense. It like it looked like it could be set in any oh, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like their offices mm-hmm. and stuff. It didn't look like now. It didn't look like yeah. you know. It was kind of like you know. It could have been any time, I guess. I thought that was pretty clever of them. Yeah, yeah. Because because some parts felt like the kind of 60s, 70s ish, mm-hmm. but then other parts. Of course, when you see the city, it's all really futuristic. Mm-hmm. And then of course, I mean now, I mean people have that modern esque looks. Had some like modern looks mm-hmm. to it so yeah i agree i mean I, I just thought they did a really good job with all that and really did a good job starting to, to world build with mm-hmm. what's happening and uh and of course by the end of it they they explain like about like if you do something the timeline spews and you can't have that because then all the different timelines try to compete to be the main timeline and mm-hmm. of course the three dudes made one main timeline which i don't know about you gary but come on they're bad right I mean, the TVA mm-hmm. is going to end up being bad. I mean, I don't know. Oh, what no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, it's only a matter of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we figure out uh, that they're all bad. 
Yeah. And, uh, you know, because they're trying to prevent war or do they already have a war planned and they're going to, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So this episode was, was great world building, like you said. And, uh, and Tom Hiddleston, I don't know how you pronounce his name. He did, uh, he's great as Loki, you know, it was, Mm -hmm. it was really cool to see him as that character again. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know what else it reminded me of a little bit? It reminded me of uh, Catch Me If You Can. Mm, you know, mm-hmm. the the banter with him and Owen Wilson reminded me a little bit of Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks in that movie. I just kept, yeah. I kept thinking about it. It kept reminding me of that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I will say, Gary, the only thing that I'm a little worried about with this show, I mean, we'll see what happens. Because, of, of course, the way they set it up, they set it up like they're trying to preserve the timeline, right? How everything mm-hmm. is. But I'm also a little afraid that they might undo some stuff that we've already seen and try to set up something else for the future. And oh, I yeah. say that because of the whole like Infinity War thing. You got me scared. Yeah. And think about that. Cancel the yeah. show. <laughs> Cancel it now. <laughs> yeah. Cancel it. That's the, that's the only thing that scares me a little bit now. And mainly because of, like I said, like they're like the Infinity Stone whole ordeal where they're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. We have tons of these everywhere. So oh, yeah, like, it's paperweights. I was like, oh. paperweights. Was that the first or second episode? I don't remember. That's the first but, episode. Yeah, I was just like, holy cow! We just saw the Avengers and Thanos. Try, you know yeah. what they did for those things, and they're like, yeah, some of them using those paperweights. I was like, yeah, yeah. and there's oh, doubles of them. They yeah, just have multiple <laughs> ones, and it's like, yeah, you and know. so. So I'm just I'm just afraid they're gonna go back and undo some stuff because I, I'm the guy Gary that I I don't like it when you build up a great villain, and then you mm-hmm. try to give him some kind of sappy bat the backstory to where you're like mm-hmm. oh and I'm like no I just want him to be bad mm-hmm. you know yeah and like and Loki, Loki already Loki already has his sap story he was mm-hmm. a frost giant you mm-hmm. know who who wasn't wanted because he wasn't like all the other frost giants and then Odin mm-hmm. takes him in now he's dealing with being an adopted by his people's mortal enemy he wants to have the crown listen we already have the sop the sap story mm-hmm. i don't want mm-hmm. that at all so i'm hoping they don't continue going down that route um, well, and i'm hoping they don't mess up all the stuff that avengers did and all that it seems like they're not because they're saying we want to preserve it but since mm-hmm. the tva is going to be bad i don't know we'll see well so what you're saying is there's a possibility that this may flashpoint the marvel universe and that's what i'm afraid of i hope not are you proud of me for for, yes. for connecting that? I'm getting yeah. better, you know. <laughs> so um, good. I agree with the sob story. We don't we don't need that because I want him to be Loki. And what I love about Loki is we don't really know. What, I mean, you know what I'm saying he 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 reminds me of you know the wrestler Sting. And the only thing for sure about Sting is nothing's for sure. You know mm-hmm. that was his quote. And Loki is kind of the same thing. It's like I don't even know if we can trust him as viewers yet. You know, yeah. like is he is he really like he he's always up to something. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I did, I I agree with the sob story, but all, but at the same time, I did like the fact that we got to see his vantage point of him watching what Thanos did to him Mm -hmm. and watching and reading about, uh, Asgard being destroyed. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was some pretty deep stuff, had some heart into it, but at the same time, I don't want to see him go back and and change stuff either. I just, I don't want that show, this show to be about that. And I hope Marvel is, 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 is better than that, which I, th- I think they are. Yeah, which which my hope is that if they do go have him go back and change stuff, I hope it's because he's still being himself and still mm-hmm. trying to be bad. Like, if, yeah, like I mean, I understand. I mean, we already saw Loki see you know see Ragnarok happen, see his mm-hmm. see Asgard get destroyed. You mm-hmm. know, he already gave his life for Thanos, so we already saw that kind of redemption story of his. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping what this Loki does is he saw all that. You know, he got the the gut wrench of it all. He, you know, we saw his heart a little bit, but then he's like, how, how can I avoid all this from, from happening? How can I stop mm-hmm. all this from happening? And so even if he tries to like, like go back and try to un, like undo some stuff, but not because he's a hero, but because he still wants to make sure he comes out on top. See, yeah, I would be okay selfish. With that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, I get that. Yeah. Um, or like he tries and then he, he realizes he can't cause they just won't allow him, you yeah. know? Um, you know, uh, when do you think we'll see the uh, the lizard guys? I think we'll see them sometime soon. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so either. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just, just popped in my head. Just yeah. Yeah. Sure. And just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, but I think this was um, I, mean, I think it was good, solid first episode. 
Um, yeah. I really did, uh, you know, like it a lot. And um, but I did have one more picture here that I thought was pretty good from this episode. If I can, um, if I can find it. I don't know. Maybe it was this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's it. This whole scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This whole scene where he's in there and he's be, he's on trial and they're like ask him stuff and he goes off on a speech. He's like, I am a god. Y'all are nothing. He tries to use his powers. Nothing mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. Just, I just thought this whole thing was pretty good just, too. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Yeah. yeah. I realize this. his powers, his magic, he's useless in the TVA. I thought mm-hmm. that was, yeah, I thought that was good. Um, some nice Marvel humor there, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm glad he didn't get reset. That wouldn't have been good. No, no, <laughs> no. Like is that I'm I'm, assu- I'm assuming like is that like they kill him or is he like uh, does he get set back to like Buzz Lightyear factory setting you know what is, yeah I mean you know um, yeah. quiet musical hog but uh you know but yeah I thought that yeah. was interesting That's I know I just I just kind of feel like this thing can only really end in one of three ways either either one he gets reset they just set him right back in the timeline there's nothing he could do and you went on this great journey of him trying but he fails mm-hmm. or um, or he succeeds and had to end up changing some stuff, and then maybe with phase four, or maybe it, or maybe they would have to do a second season to kind of show all the stuff he does in the background of all mm-hmm. the other main movies to make mm-hmm. stuff happen. Which you know, that could, cool. that could be kind of cool. I'd be I'd be that okay could... with that. You know, or they just have him come in, mess everything up, and then come, you know, phase four, you know, multiverse of madness and all that. Mm-hmm. Like obviously, I think they're setting something up with that, anyways. But yeah we'll kind of see how it goes and maybe, or maybe this just leads right into that. And maybe he'll, this Loki will pop up in Dr. Strange and we don't know it yet. And then cool. maybe something in there. And then, so instead of having, so that Loki had his whole ordeal, but now we're take we're going to be taken on a ride with this Loki. And that's maybe mm-hmm. how they bring him back, which mm-hmm. again, that'd be one I wouldn't be too upset about either. Yeah, that could be cool. And the good thing about it, Marvel has us talking. You know, there's so mm-hmm. many talking points, so much to think about what is next, you know? Yeah. And, uh, good stuff. Yeah. So what about episode two, sir? What do you think? You said you saw episode two this morning. So what yeah, do you episode think? two, um, I guess this is where they kind of hit the gas pedal on the story. You know, they start actually doing, you know, the first episode was explaining everything. This was them actually doing stuff and, uh, yeah. you know, traveling. So first off, um, we, you know, to the 2040s and 50s are going to be pretty rough for earth um yeah you know and uh alabama's got a pretty rough storm coming 2049 and uh you know they go so they're trying to find so basically what it, it correct me if i'm wrong they thought it was another loki that was going through different um timelines or whatever different uh armageddon's whatever they called it mm-hmm. and next destroying like the nexus minimum. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 nexus events yeah and so they're basically going different ones and trying to figure out where he's going to be because he's wiping out all these guys, you know, mm-hmm. all these people that work for the TVA. And that is where I think we're going to find out what the TVA is really up to. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, the, whoever it was, are we supposed to know who that was at the end? Sorry, I don't mean to jump. In I mean, um, kind of, but not really. Yeah. I think this is, um, you know, with some multi, you know, timeline verse stuff. It's just a different version of Loki. Um, okay. And so, which, you know, we can get back to in a second, but it's just like, but either way, this, this other Loki, cause at the end of the first episode, it says like, we're hunting you down. Yeah. We're hunting you down. Yeah. Right. So it's like, yeah. we're hunting you down. And, and so we need you to help us because again, killing all these guys, he's collecting all the reset grenade things. Mm-hmm. I forget what those mm-hmm. things are called. And they're like, man, he's yeah. a variant. We got to make sure it, you know, it gets brought back in. I think, like you said, this is where we start to see, the TVA's true colors really come out um, mm-hmm. is, is through this because it seems like this version of Loki is out to do something against the TVA. Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's just personal gain. You know what I mean? No. It feels like yeah. they're out to really mess up everything the TVA has going, um, which it could be just an issue of what kind of Loki was struggling with in the first episode where he was like, I make my choices. I have the freedom. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. So you do f- get this tension of destiny versus free will and mm-hmm. like what is life. So you really do get that whole kind of pool that's happening here. That's what Loki's struggling with. And maybe this other Loki is struggling with the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was uh, that was interesting to me to see them going to different, different uh, locations. Pompeii, you know, reading about mm-hmm. the future, 
you know, and uh, just trying to stop whatever this other Loki is doing. Yeah, there, there, there she is yeah. um, on the screen there. And got uh, it pulled up here. And then, yeah, so this is what comes up. Obviously, it was a surprise because he was expecting to see himself. Yeah, and, that's what uh, I was expecting. Yeah. And then, even in the beginning of the episode, of the second episode, they showed, like, look at all these different versions of Loki in this hologram that showed him. Uh -huh. And it was always a guy. So then, mm -hmm. like, he gets, uh, and then, of course, at first, he's like touching people, passing through people, kind of like the old mm -hmm. movie Fallen. Remember that movie mm -hmm. with Denzel Washington? Mm -hmm. Demon I just do. touches people. Yeah. So it's kind of like that whole ordeal. I That's thought of that instantly movie. when I saw that. It was a trippy yeah. movie. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so they have that, and then she finally reviews herself, and he's just like kind of taken back and, of course, has more mm -hmm. questions because he mm -hmm. was like, wait, so there's a version of me that's a lady. And mm -hmm. um, and this is something that, like, you know, not to get into any kind of, like, political crap. I'm just trying to state some facts here. This is something mm -hmm. that Marvel's been doing in comics for years um, mm -hmm. where they just – they take, you know – what the classical male characters or whatever they are and they're switch them they're either gender switch them or you know race swap uh -huh. them or whatever um mm -hmm. and then say they're in a different universe and stuff like that so that's why like this isn't that surprising that this happened because yeah. in comic books and stuff they've been doing it for a long time anyways they've even done mm -hmm. it with spider-man you know, like they, they've done that and so yeah. it looks like they're bringing that you know kind of storytelling into the, the mcu now with this right here yeah yeah, not a surprise because, yeah, they, they've been doing that for a while, like you said. And uh, I think it makes it pretty interesting to see what, you know, because he jumped into the uh, box thing with her to yeah. chase after her to find out exactly what is she doing. And hopefully episode three, we'll find out more about what exactly is going on. But yeah. I like the scene in the, in the uh, what were they, like a grocery store or something? She kept yeah. bouncing back and forth between people, you know, mm -hmm. you can call me Randy. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and uh so yeah and then you got the conflict of owen wilson's character what was his name again matt mess more you know, mobius. more more mobius. i want to say yeah, yeah, i think it's, Mo it's mobius because i want to say morbius but yeah i kept thinking it yeah well, i kept thinking of morbius whenever they said it and uh now they had the whole conflict of you know did he trust him he shouldn't have blah blah you know but uh but yeah this is uh these first two episodes this is a great way to start this series yeah yeah, I think so. Um, I think the second episode did a good job being a second episode because the first one, it was like, okay, for me, it was like a lot of cool moments, but I have some reservations and stuff. Mm -hmm. This one did a good job of just saying, all right, we're propelling the story forward. Here's where we're going. And they left me on a good cliffhanger because it's like, man, I want to figure out what happens next because Loki ditched the TVA, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, so I like where this is going. And of course, me, I think you're the same way. We love good time hopping movies. Mm -hmm. um and all that kind of stuff i mean we like the back to the futures the bill and ted's things like that um yeah so i think um, i think this has a lot of potential and i think it's near impossible to guess where it's going because when you do yeah. all this time hops and different versions of yourself the story can really go anywhere mm -hmm. and so who knows what they really have in store we can only theorize where we think it's going to end up like i did for the last episode um mm -hmm. you know a little bit ago uh, all we can do is theorize, but I don't think anyone really knows other than Kevin Feige no. and the actors. You know? Yeah, yeah. and But, yeah, excited to see where it goes. And uh, looking forward to next Wednesday, episode three. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'd really love to see him going through, at some point, the other movies, you know, kind of in the background and stuff. I just really mm -hmm. like stuff like that. It always, it always intrigues me. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they do do something like that, but it all depends on what this other Loki has planned. Yeah. And what she thinks is what whatever her plans is. And I think that that won't really, excuse me, get revealed probably until like episode four or five. I think, what does this have? Six mm -hmm. episodes? Is that what this is? Oh, I have no is? idea. I assumed eight because they usually have eight. But uh, let me see. Oh, maybe, me maybe it's the, eight. Let me go to the IMDb machine and see. Low key. There it is. Uh, six episodes. It is six. Okay. Yep. So I read July it right. 14th will be the finale. Okay, yep. so that's what I thought. So you have six episodes. Again, not a lot of episodes. I mean, thankfully, these things are actually like 45 minutes or 50 mm -hmm. minutes. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you got a lot of ground to cover. So we'll see. I mean, they. I thought the same thing with um, Captain America or, you know, whatever, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Falcon, um, yeah. And even though it was, felt a little rushed, maybe they have this one a little bit more paced out. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I like the uh, episode runtime, you know. Yeah. I will say so far with these two episodes, I think this is my favorite series so far out of the other two as well. 
Yeah, the I would first agree one was one division, and then the yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm like this one already. The first two episodes I think was better than mm-hmm. the other one. Yeah, I, I agree really do. And I like the other two, but yeah, this one I am more uh, anxious to see the next episode than I was week to week with those. If that makes any sense, right? Yeah, the other ones it was like, oh yeah, another one came out yesterday, and then yeah. you watched it. This one I'm like, is it Wednesday yet? Like, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So there's our thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know your thoughts in the comment. As always, subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, let us know your thoughts on Loki. If you've watched it yet, if you haven't watched it yet, get out and watch it. Check it out. And uh, check it out. Hopefully we didn't spoil too much for you, but you know we had to say what we had to say. And uh, we'll be back next week uh, reviewing episode three. So we will see you guys again soon. All, All right. right. Thanks, see everyone. everyone.